Hello everyone, White Mage Serenia here, welcome you back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. In our last episode, we had just gotten through the Aoife tree, and today I think we're heading back to uh, Madame Seri because reasons. <laughs> Alright, so let's make our moves. Let's go, man. Let us go. And we got our first random battle of the day. <laughs> Oh, I was gonna say, not only did we get our first random battle, we're getting our first Crash City USA, but no. Oh, nice miss there, Riley. For those of you curious, it is currently 5.40 in the morning, October 1st, 2017, and for those fortunate enough who's to be with me on the stream, um, I had just wrapped up Final Fantasy X's bonus episode, episodes, depending on how I split it, um, where we destroyed Penance and Nemesis as well. And I guess I'm leaving this random battle in because I derped and started talking at the end of the battle. Ah, whatever. Uh, I don't know about that one, Palin. But yeah, it's currently 5.40 in the morning, uh, Eastern Standard Time. Alright, so like I said, we're gonna make our way back to Medane Seri. Alright. And Mote, it's right there. Oh, I know what I'm missing. One sec. <laughs> I'm home! <laughs> I'm home! <laughs> Told the news, are you alright? Come now, we'll talk later. <laughs> I think we're about to get Amarant, if I recall correctly. Hey, Peridot. <laughs> uh... <laughs> What's really funny is, uh... <laughs> I, I think the name Peridot kind of does suit Aiko, because she makes me think of Peridot a lot, or vice versa, actually. <laughs> oh yeah, that, yeah. I forget how to solve the word wall, but we'll, or the I, I, Eidolon wall, but we'll be tackling that as we come to it later. I'm so angry at myself. Over what? Spilled milk? <laughs> oh, so this is terrible. Someone stole the vase's precious stone. Someone with a... Laney. It's, it's the precious stone that has been passed down in this village for generations is gone. My grandparents said they sh that they said that we should take care of it because it's a symbol of the summoner's heritage. Well, how about crying for a change? It'll help. I'm not gonna cry. I'm a grown up now. And crying won't help one bit. Well, all right. How about you start looking for clues? <laughs> yeah, that is true. Yeah. <laughs> The pigs! <laughs> Is it my fault? <laughs> it might be your fault. Everyone, everyone was watching over the stone. Peridot? It just happened that way. It wasn't your fault. Besides, we're the ones who made you open the seal. You understand, right? The real villain is the thief who stole it. So let's just look for some clues and get the stone back, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. That's true, yeah. I'm all grown up. Me no, Peridot, but if you feel like crying, just cry. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go pray for my grandparents. I'll be right back. I want that treasure chest and the mini treasure chest. I want them all. If you need to, you can cry too, Blade. My shoulder's always available. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> what about you, Riley? What do you do when you need to cry? Oh, I get real clingy when I'm sad. <laughs> Cut it out. Hey, I was serious. I heard a scream. It sounded like Peridot. Damn it, the thief was still here. Riley, I saw her. It's that girl from Fossil Roo. She took Peridot. They went to the Adolin Mall. Let's go. Oh boy. 
Uh, I would say so. Damn it, I'll go back in there. Go back in there. Uh, yeah, I, w I would say so, dude. I like Steven Universe quite a bit. A survival vest. Cannot carry another phoenix down. Cannot carry another phoenix down. Ah. Yes. <coughs> All right. To the Eidolon Wall. Yes. What do you say? What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? Another homeless human. Oh. <laughs> homeless! <laughs> I meant homeless. Yeah, true. <laughs> Makes you so easy to pick up. Just be still until he gets here. I found the treasure! Use it for Paradot! Exploda! <laughs> I already have an Exploda, thank you. Where's Mog? Nope, Mog is right here behind me. Koopo! Mog, I need your help to save Paradot. Koopo! Wait, why isn't his pom pom yellow like it's supposed to be? Got an idea, it's alright, you won't be in any danger. Koopo? It's no use. Mog's always been a coward. Yeah, well, gotta do something. Let's go. <laughs> well, so there's my good Sir Knight. What have you done with Paradox? She was too rambunctious, so I put her to sleep with a sleeping weed. That's not the voice I used for her. <laughs> She's probably sleeping well. <laughs> but if it's my pin that you're after, then leave the others out of it. No can do, sweetheart. This is way too convenient to pass up. Hand over your pendant and I'll hand over the girl, capiche? <laughs> what happened to the pendant that all you have always on? Well, I have it. Oh, you really are a good knight. Now, cough it up already. First, tell me something. Was it you who stole the village stone? Queen Brane is after the royal pendant. I found another jewel just like it in this village. I'm glad I came all this way looking for it. Now, hand it over. Only paired I was conscious. Hold on. You're plotting something, aren't you? Stay right there. Ugh. You, black mage. Huh? Me? Bring me the pendant. Remember, do as I say if you value, value this brat's life. Uh, Riley. Ah, well. Do it, VV. Okay. <laughs> Here you go. Have this air that I always hold in my hand. <laughs> hold it. Oof. I don't know who you are, but thanks. It's the guy that has nothing to do with the plot at all. <laughs> and the game could be the same without him. <laughs> oh, that's it. Who are you calling a hag? You. <laughs> so the tables turn. Now hand over the jewel you stole. What are you trying to do, Red? I thought you were supposed to be the number one bandit. T I'm not here to help. I just want it to be fair. What are you talking about? Leave the jewel and get out of here. What? We're partners on the job. I don't work with hostage-taking scumbags. Now get lost. Or would you rather fight me? Mark my words, I'll collect the bounty on you someday. <laughs> now fight me. Hey, just a second, what's going on? I told you, I'm not here to help. I just want to level the playing field. Fair enough, let's do it. It's okay. I was just looking for you ways to impress you. Uh... Like I said, like, I don't remember this guy having any bearing on the plot whatsoever. I really don't. And he's literally the least character, the least used character in most of my... No, auto, no. How are you doing? Alright, you got anything, Mr. Amarant? What you got, my friend? 
Poison Nux and Ether. Wow. Definitely feel like I want those Poison Nux. Oh, what? You think you're being fancy? Oh, <laughs> we got the Poison Knuckles right away. I don't really give a crap about the Ether, although it might still be ha worth having. Got it. <laughs> okay. Game did you? Oh, ish. Oh, well, it's because I changed it earlier. Oh, good! Add status actually worked, and Omron has slow on him now. Look at that. Very nice. Flap. Ugh. Here I go. Bloop. Doink. God, so slow, man. Why does this game have to be so slow? <laughs> yeah, that's usually how that goes, too. It won't change until you refresh the page. So that, you know, if you if you change the thingy, new people coming in will see the change, but it won't change on the fly. Predicted your attack. What are you gonna do about it? You missed! <laughs> I'm actually glad that he missed. Although it's weird that he got two attacks back to back, like three attacks back to back, that in that, you know, time frame, you'd think he would have been slower than that, because he was, you know, slowed. Yeah, screw this, I'm gonna use a high potion. Yeah, I got the poison knuckles and the ether right away. Seriously, both were instant steal. I got the poison knuckles, then the ether. That's all he had. Ugh. God, this is unbearably slow. Riley. Well, it's slow in general. Like, 7 and 8 don't don't play this slow. In my opinion, 9 is the slowest Final Fantasy, not counting Tactics. Tactics is slow, but it doesn't feel particularly slow. Whereas this just feels sluggish. It always has, though. I'm supposed to lose this fight, am I? I don't remember if I am or not. But I'm gonna try to beat him at least. I see no reason not to, other than wasting uh, items, but I mean, look how many items I've got. I think I'm good. A little, yeah. It looks good! It does look good. You know. If you can take that, you know, take that into account. Or if that means anything. I don't know. Pop another high potion just because normal potions aren't doing enough. Zidane's gonna end up trancing, or Riley, whatever. Riley Zidane, same damn thing to me. But, uh, ow! That crit, though. Ow. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could do that. I don't know. Plan 9 from Outer Space. <laughs> that would be really funny. Solution 9! Okay, blam! 
Okay, there you go. <laughs> At least that one was a useful trance, for once. <laughs> very, very rarely does trance actually work the way it's supposed to for me. I have really bad luck when it comes to that crap. Uh, I lost? Go on, finish me then. Can you stand? Give back what you stole. Hey, I got it back. Now, finish me. You want to die that bad? I just spared your life. So you want to banish me then? You can go if you want. I won't follow you. Aha, uh -huh, trying to trick me, eh? Trick you? I tried to kill you. Why are you letting me go? The fight's over and we're both still alive. Good enough, right? We got back what was stolen from us, after all. Listen to you. I lost to some spineless thief. The sly eagle doesn't kill at a whim. <laughs> Bye, Amarant. Again, <laughs> the person who had nothing to do with the plot at all, ever. <laughs> oh well. Huh? I'm going. <laughs> Again, I I don't know why Vivi's my favorite character, but he just is, man. That that still hasn't changed. Okay. Now what if I go back in here now? Okay, yeah, I can't. I can't do the... I don't even have the chance to do whatever I'm supposed to do in there yet. So I'll have to come back later. Okay, wait, why did I do that? When I could just, you know, go... I, it don't matter. I guess we can go over here now, I guess. I'm not sure, right? Either that or we leave the town. I think we just would leave. Oh, yeah. Yeah! <laughs> that is true. And to be honest, Vivi is more of a match for her anyway. Doubly so, since... Here's the thing. Like, it's so cool, in a way. Um, the way that this game is designed. Because, like, you look at uh, Garnet or Blade, and you realize that, uh... You know... Her prominent command is summon, but she has white magic. And then you have uh, Paradise. I, I knew that, Kaylin. I just kind of left town without thinking. Um, and then you have uh, Aiko, or Aiko, whose prominent thing is white magic, but she can summon. And, in some ways, her summons are more powerful than uh, Aiko's. It's just Aiko's are more about support and stuff. It's kind of neat. Even though Aiko's the summoner, not the white mage. It's just she's more a white mage than summoner. It's weird. It's my 16th birthday, but I want to go with you guys. I really do. You think it's okay if I leave? Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Come with us. Forget what your grandparents said. Doesn't matter what I say. You've already made up your mind. Don't you have something to say to her, Vivi? <laughs> Remember what you taught me at the Aoife tree? You said I shouldn't ever lie to myself. I'll try to be more honest with my own feelings. Uh, you should too, Peridot. Hmm. I forget my own advice, Vivi. Thanks. I'll wear the jewel as an earring. It'll be okay then, right, Riley? Bloop. <laughs> Memory earring. Peridot, I think Mog wants to talk to you. Yep. C Coupeau? Cool, Paul. <laughs> you think I'm mad at you? I'm furious. You went off on about me again. You promised me you wouldn't. What would you do if you got off and got in trouble? Cool, Oh well. Thank goodness we're both all right. <laughs> You're always nice to Mog, aren't you, Paradot? Well, yeah. We're best friends after all. We were born on the same day, and we have always been together. <laughs> this is our friendship ribbon. Mog gave it to me. Mog, do you have the ribbon I gave you? Cool. Huh. Oh my god. It's too big for her now, but once we're both sophisticated ladies, we'll wear them together. Oh god. Maybe then, Riley, will you dance with me? <laughs> Riley? 
I didn't know Mog was a girl. <laughs> Mog's been multiple genders, believe me. Go up the stairs, damn it! <laughs> what? I think. Oh, whoa, whoa, hello. From down there? Blade, you there? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> really? It's okay, keep seeing, because it's our song, right? I'm surprised you found this place. You got the talent to be a bandit. How about you and me team up? We'll call ourselves the betrothed. My talent's up to snuff, but that name isn't. <laughs> <laughs> You're really something these days. If I am, I must have gotten it from you. No, it's all because you made the effort to learn. No, oh, it's because you stuck with me. Without you, I couldn't have made it to Limblum, much less see a whole new continent. Everything I tried to do on my own was a total failure. I couldn't stop my mother. At times, I almost lost hope. You helped me so much, not just you either. Yeah, Vivi and Peridot helped out at the infantry and <laughs> Wiggly <laughs> was real helpful when we left the continent. Velani, Steiner, and even Beatrix, who I thought was our enemy. I haven't forgotten. I want to believe everyone's all right, but sometimes I just can't. I hope I can live up to the hopes of everyone who has helped me. You don't have to feel so responsible, Blade. But I do! Nobody wants to feel that way. They didn't do it all for you, either. Everyone was following his own path. His own path? Well, what about you? Huh? Why didn't you come with me? Hey, that's Is Ibsen's line. Ibsen? Who's that? Ibsen's a character from a play, but he's a real-life adventurer. I think the play is based on his adventures. It kind of goes like this. Ibsen and his good friend Colleen worked at a tavern in Trino. One day, Ibsen got a letter. The letter was so wet from rain that most of the writing was illegible. The only part he could read said, Come back home. Nowadays, we have airships and stuff, but back then, it was really hard to travel. He didn't know why he had to go back, but he got some time off, gathered his things, and set out on his journey home. He walked a thousand leagues through the mist. Sometimes he was attacked by vicious monsters, but he made it because his friend Colin was at his side. Colin, actually. And then after much time hid on the road, he had asked Colin something. Why did you come with me? And what was Colin's answer? Only because I wanted to go with you. Uh oh, you're drifting! You're drifting! Oh, too late. <laughs> Uh, Riley, I, uh... Blade? Can't you... Can't you hear the song? Huh? Yeah, it's that song. How come... Who's singing it? The sunset makes the Eidolon wall look like it's on fire. I've seen this somewhere before. What? Where? <laughs> ah, nothing I can do about that. My net is being bad right now. Just gotta wait for it to stabilize, as always. The Invincible. Blade! Blade, wake up! Where's Vivi? He's sleeping. I don't want to wake him up. Well? 
I have no memory of my early childhood. I never really thought about it. Besides, no one ever told me. I was raised in Alexandria, and only from the age of six or so. Six? So where were you till then? Until then, until I was six, I must have been here in Madame Cerie. <laughs> really, Kaylin? Really? I still can't remember everything. Some things are like shrouded in fog. But I do remember one thing. About ten years ago, an unbelievably huge hurricane hit this village. That's as far as I remember. That day, I... I was with my true mother on a little boat far from the village. There's a cove behind Peridot's house, right? The boat I was on was just like the one there. It all came back to me when I heard the song on the boat. That song is from Medane Sari, so that's why nobody else knows it. How did you get to Alexandria? How did you get to be a princess? How come you don't have a summoner's horn? I don't know. But maybe Dr. Dot can tell me. About the lady who protected me from the storm as the boat lurched about in the waves. My biological mother who died on that boat. The woman she taught, thought was her mother became someone else. And her true mother was already dead. Late has lost two mothers. <laughs> And I used to pray every day here at the idol on wall. You too? You pray here too, Peridot? <laughs> I'm so happy I remembered. Blade! Welcome home! So glad to be back. <laughs> what? I just realized I'm not alone anymore. Yeah, I made up my mind. Riley, Blade, I'm going with you. I'll be breaking my promise to my grandpa, but I want to go. Besides, Grandpa always told me to be honest with myself. Oh, God. I don't know what the future holds, but I want to finish what I came here for. So do I. Let's all go together. Well, that's usually how it goes. Come on, Blade, let's go pray together. Oh, man. All right. Whee! I don't remember how to get Sinna's hammer right offhand. I know I need it for something later. Well, I know what you need it for, I just, you know what I mean. Grandpa, I'll be back soon. Oh, you're coming with us? Hey, why the long face? Oh, nothing. My face is always like this. Mog's coming too. Mog! <laughs> oh my god. See? Mog's palm's supposed to be yellow. Why was it red before in that one scene? I don't know. Long scene is long, though. <laughs> You'll always be lighthearted and free. Thoughts of the Eidolon wall will always lift your heart. Indeed. Isn't that how it usually goes? What now? You want some more, eh? The victor lives. The defeated die. You know the rules. Your actions yesterday were incomprehensible to me. Tell me, why didn't you kill me? Well, that's a tough question. Are you really that unhappy that I let you live? I'd rather die as a warrior than live as a beggar. Then come with me. What are you after? Follow me and maybe you'll understand. Besides, you're pretty good in the fight. We could use someone like you. We're hunting a man down. His only constant is unpredictability. Huh? You say something? Very well. I'll find out what makes you so strong. What's your name? Call me what you will. Hmm. Lanny called you Red, right? <laughs> hey -o. Anyway, 
Fine, we'll call you Spike. <laughs> Wrong Spike, Caitlin. The more the merrier. Let's decide our marching order. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> oh boy. I guess I can take, uh, like that. Because Aiko is a pretty strong uh, healer, so. Well, and plus her auto regen is definitely nice to have. I'm enthusiastically casting right now, guys. <laughs> still a little mist, but at least there's no more coming out. That must mean Kuja isn't here yet. What happened to the mist? We beat the beast that breathes it. So much for the mist continent. No more mist. They must possess incredible powers to accomplish such a feat. That row. There's the silver... It's him. He flew from a, the ruins of Bermesia riding a silver dragon. It's Kuja, all right. And he's riding that dragon. Oh, how I've longed for this day! The day I might finally cast away this mask to reveal my true self. Now it no longer matters if the Aoife tree is liberated, it means nothing to me! <laughs> The tree is so beautiful. Its beauty becomes the great mother tree that lives among the stars. Silver Dragon, let us watch the drama unfold from the trunk of Aifa. No one shall interrupt us there. <laughs> oh boy. past the trunk if we go any further. Kuja went down that trunk. Say, Riley, how are we going to get up there? Can't we climb? Not me. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> I can't either. Wow. I can't do high-pitched voices very well. It's hard to differentiate them. You should just go by yourself. We gotta go face Kuja together. How did this wimp end up beating me? Whoa, hey! Hey, Spike, watch what you're walking. He who hesitates is lost. You'd best remember that. Well, I prefer my way or the highway. Whatever. Like you actually have a plan. Oh yeah, smarty pants, don't forget you're the one who lost to Riley. Shut up, brat! A plan, huh? That's right. Spike, you owe me one. Remember, it's payback time. Shit. There's some gargant grass around here, so a gargant can't be far. I want you to catch one for me. Then we can go all the way up to the top. Why should I do all of that when I could just take the kids up myself? How did I ever let this dimwit beat me? <laughs> he sure has spirit. Alright, Blade. I'll just carry you piggyback. Huh? Hey, wait! Just... No. Oh. <laughs> and yeah, I agree about Kuja there, Neon. The weak lose their freedom to the strong. Such is the way of the strong, and is the providence of nature that only the strong survive. That is why I needed strength. 
I learned of powers that would daunt even him over ten years ago. Such a long time. Now my forces are ready to strike. Ah, the suspense is terrible. So they've come this far, have they? Perfect. I'll warm up on them until this elephant lady shows up. Thanks, Spike. Now we're even. Show me what you guys can do. There's Kuja! <laughs> oh god, yeah. Oh my god, dude. I still can't look at Nigel Thornberry the same way after watching that, by the way. Jeez. Kuja, maker of black mages. Any enemy of Riley is an enemy of me. <laughs> can't talk today. You are Kuja, correct? My name is. What? Garnet Till Alexandros. I wish to speak you some. ask you something. Wow. Was it really you who persuaded the war that threw the entire Miss Continent into chaos? And you made everyone, the Black Mages, into instruments of war? Oh dear, the princess has such a bloodthirsty little puppet. I don't have the power to do such a thing. I just gave them a little recipe is all. Begin with broth of mist, add fermented souls and boil. Then pour genuine black magic into a mixing bowl and heat to- STOP IT! I'm not done telling how to make soulless toys out of the dregs of souls. Dregs of souls? You mean mist? First you don't want to listen, now you start asking questions. Oh brother, but you're not ready yet. Why? Don't you have any feeling? Take the lives of so many? Spare me the lecture. Lives come and go all the time, what's the big deal? <laughs> Speaking of warmongers, why, what about that mother of yours, princess? She said she won't feel alive until she has everything. It breaks my heart to see such greed. The war was my fault? <laughs> no, no, your mother wanted it. All I did was give her a little push. Liar, my mother was sweet and kind. You changed her. <laughs> so the curtain rises. Perfect, my canary. Let me show you the truth about your mother. First act, the end of the ugly desire. It's showtime. Oh boy. <laughs> Kuja, so you finally decided to show your girly face here. You're all that stands between me and total domination. <laughs> But I haven't forgotten all that you've done for me. In return, I will show you the ultimate power. Attention, all hands! Order the Black Mages to focus all of the magical energies in energies, energies into a single spell. Lay suppressing fire upon Kuja until the casting is finished. Fire! Fire at will! Oh, boy. Oh, you know, Katara. Focus all of your attack thingy. Mana. Whatever. No care. Just do stuff, and hope that it does stuff too, and, and do more stuff after that. I, I can't believe it! Your mother isn't satisfied with being only one continent. Her ugliness and stupidity are truly impressive! Ah, uh, everything is proceeding as I have foreseen. What are you talking about? <laughs> You're just the opening number. Time for the real show. We won't let you get away. The mist may be created no more, but it still lurks in caves and forests, right? I can make monsters with magic. Come forth, spawn of the mist! <laughs> oh look, it's Lavo spawn. Go figure. Rawr.
<laughs> Insert 420 Blaze It joke here. You know, because it hit for 420 and it was a fire based spell. <laughs> As if I needed to say that. Carries a high potion! And or. Nothing worth stealing. Good. I am actually glad. So I tried to steal anyway. I need to remember to heal uh, Parrot out there. And then have her friggin... Alright. Oh yeah, I poisoned that one. I should not have used Fyra. Oh, I killed one of them. Or rather, it died to poison. <laughs> Blap. <laughs> hey, she learned Phoenix and Cure. Go figure. Of course, nothing I can do about her equipment right now, though. So, two of your enemies are duking it out. Why not just leave them and finish off the winner? My money's on Kuja. <laughs> Foolish Brawne! Your prized cannons are useless against the spawn of the mist! <laughs> but even a fool like you knows that there's only one path you can take, right? Stupid elephant lady, why do you hesitate? Very well, I'll make the first move. I'll give you a clean target you can't miss. Silver Dragon, descend! Oh god. Spike's right, let's split up before we get dragged in. Or split before we get dragged in. No, I can't. I can't let anything happen to Mother. Wait. Right, like, I, I have to save her. Uh, Blade, she extracted the Dolans from you and started the war. I still don't want to her to die. But she didn't care one bit whether you lived or died. You don't have to call her mother anymore. She's my only mother. I don't care if you don't understand. Paradox, you said there's a... Bleh. You said that there was an Idolan in prison near here, right? Uh-huh. Please tell me where. Uh, it's a long way down. You see the place with lots of roots? That's it. There, I see it! Blade, don't go alone! Oh boy. <laughs> this is turning into quite a show. Anyone can get emotional at a time like this. Give her a break! Riley, let's go. Blade's in danger all by herself. Yeah, let's go after her. Oh, Leviathan! I sense the Eidolon's power. Now I can save my mother. Please help me. At least I think it's Leviathan, right? <whistles> yep, Leviathan. I can't save my mother with this Eidolon. <laughs> yeah, me too. Blade, what's wrong? Can't you free it? No, I have it. I sense it's a great Eidolon, but... But... I don't believe it. This is the legendary sea serpent Leviathan! Leviathan? Leviathan, Leviathan. <laughs> An Eidolon who wipes out its enemies with a huge tidal wave. I'm sorry, Blade. No, it's not your fault, but my mother's still in danger. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna cast the thing. <laughs> Get back to your post, soldier. Hey, that black mage is tranced. 
<laughs> Your Majesty, the Black Mages have completed their preparations. That insolent whelp! Now I can finish him off! Come! Draconic Seedling! Bahamut, King of Dragons! Oh boy. That was a mistake, Rane. And the last mistake. <laughs> Summoning is very powerful. If Riley is after their power, I'd better watch out. Wow, now we can win, and Mother won't have to die. Herodot, don't you think what's wrong? Mog, she's terrified. How come? Don't you know? That's the last Eidolon, Bahamut, the Dragon King. He'll win for sure. Blood? <laughs> Excellent, Bahamut! Power, mobility, you are truly the best! You even hurt me a little. And you, Brane. Your tragic role in this drama now comes to an end. I'm sure you'll enjoy the second act from your soul's hellish prison, hellish prison since the stage will be your former home. The final act will take us away from Gaia, and I will kill my nemesis with my own hand. <laughs> oh, news! Bye, Black Mages. Kuja, you're so weird, but you're no Kefka. Kefka'd kick your ass in a heartbeat, buddy. <laughs> like I said, your last mistake. Bahamut attacked the one who summoned him. But we found Queen Bonnet on the beach next to her escape pod. She could hardly move, and I thought she'd come to a stop any second. I hate Kuja a lot, but I hate Bonnet a lot too. So much that I wanted this to happen to her. I should be happy, but once I saw Blade start to cry, I didn't know how I should feel. I kind of wanted to cry too. Yes, Mother, I'm here. Right here. I, I am empty now. Free. Free of that terrible greed. Mother? I haven't felt this way since I saw that play with you and your father. I led Alexandria down the path of ruin. The people will be happier with you on the throne. We went back to Alexandria on Queen Bronze expect escape pod. We also brought Blade's mother with us. 